And the first thing we started was uh, Living in Peru, which is a website for primarily for expats arriving to Peru, needing, looking for something. And uh, then it turned into Peru This Week, which is now the largest source of information in English about Peru, which is open to the whole world. Um, and with that came additional services like a travel agency called Peru Experience, uh, beyond volunteering for bringing volunteers and uh, also uh, helping people to find a good apartment house to live in uh, when they get uh, to Peru. So that's some of the things that uh, occupies my day. Now I have had great experiences uh, working with the Peruvian people. They are very nice, very open and uh, of course our culture is a little bit different so one has to adjust and be flexible, but uh, that's part of changing to any culture, I think, not only to Peru, but uh, to anywhere you go. The education in general can be improved, there's no doubt about that, but uh, there are offers out there for people who can afford to, uh, to put their kids through education, and um, there are schools that are super fantastic, and where your kids can really have a, a great education. Um, I have a lot of faith in the school where my kids are going and uh, I'm sure they're gonna come out as uh, great uh, world citizens because it's an international school that opens their mind so they get a part of the Peruvian world and they get a part of the international world. Uh, living in Peru I met a lot of wonderful people from all around the world uh, Germans, Spanish, Americans, Australians, South Africans, Canadians uh, Chinese, Vietnamese, Korean, I mean, today they are all represented in Peru. Uh, Peru and especially, well, Lima has become a metropolitan. Uh, there is a lot of investment going on in Peru right now. In the last 10 years, it's been going upside all the way. So uh, I definitely uh, have had a chance to meet a lot of people and I'm meeting new ones every day. Having two boys of five and 11, that uh, takes some time and occupation, but uh, I like to listen to music, I like to go to the movies, uh, I like to go into the nature, I like to travel around the country, and uh, I can do that with my family, so uh, it's been great uh, experience to, to travel. And I haven't been to all of the country, but through my job, I have been able to see a lot. Well, I, I'm so lucky that uh, uh, I, I'm able to go out and have lunch two or three times a week uh, with friends and we go to all different kind of places. Uh, Lima, Peru is full of thousands of wonderful great restaurants and you can go to from a place that will cost you seven, eight solus equal to three dollars and have a, a great meal to have a gourmet dinner with, with wines similar to if you go to some of the best restaurants around the world. Coming to Peru for more than 22 years have taught me many things and during my trips and travels I have seen and done many things which led to a book called 101 Reasons to be Proud of Peru that we released in 2008 and which can be downloaded for free through 101peru.com and um, you will learn a lot about Peru that you didn't know. And even the Peruvians, those who know the most, get surprised every time they open the book.